welcome to another episode of Red Installs. So today I will be installing a radiator cover for the Honda Rebel. And just in case you guys are wondering, this is Marshall, my JRT, and that is Justice. I am going to install this radiator cover that I got from Shopee. And I go only got it for 1,140 pesos. That includes shipping. And it's made of cast aluminum, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it looks pretty nice. I mean, it's not the usual Honda Rebel radiator that you see with the Rebel uh, logo here in the middle. It's pretty, the Rebel logo is pretty subtle at the bottom. All right, this is gonna be pretty easy. This came with washers, by the way, which I am going to use. So for this install, we're just going to need, uh, we're just going to need this five millimeter Allen wrench. That's it. And I already loosened these bolts. Pretty easy to remove. Alright, so just need to watch it a little bit because the actual bolt, the bottom bolt, or the yeah, the bottom bolt is the bolt that actually attaches the the whole radiator onto the body of the bike. So I'll just remove this completely later. Once I've removed this part. Okay, now let's remove this one. And make sure that you hold on to the plastic radiator cover doesn't fall off. There you go. So, I mean, if you can see the holes in this plastic cover is pretty big, right? So even small pebbles can still go through it and damage your radiator. Unlike this one, the holes in this are a little uh, smaller in comparison, right? So yeah. Alrighty, so just like before, all I need to do is put, put this back. I don't think we need to clean the radiator that much. It's not dirty at all. Washer is installed. Let's do that again, shall we? Oops, wait a minute. Wait a tick. There's a tough tight spot there. Whoa. other bolts on this side so it's a little bit more stable. Correct. 
right? So when you tighten it, make sure that you don't tighten this too much, just enough. When you feel that uh, you can't twist anymore, that is enough. Okay. All right. Now, it seems only problem with this this version is that it's too high. Too high for the cap. I mean, the cap is here, right? And it's already the metal part here is touching it. Well, hopefully that, that doesn't really like affect the cap here. <laughs> it seems that this should be like maybe a few cent uh, centimeters lower, so that it comes up to about here. But I guess that also kind of provides like an extra few centimeters of protection for your radiator, right? It doesn't completely cover this, just like this, it doesn't completely cover the radiator, but at least it kind of covers it in terms of height. pretty much it that is a pretty easy install for this radiator guard which is aluminum instead of plastic like this one All right thank you again for watching and stay tuned for more install videos bye